Here we will write a Python program to find employee salary when basic and DA is given using single inheritance. So first we will open the IDLE, then we will add new file and in comment line we will write program description. First we will define class employee and here we will define constructor with two variables employee number and employee name. Then we will assign these constructor variables. So self.eno equal to eno and self.ename equal to ename. Then we will define another class salary which inherits employee. Here we will define constructor with another three variables basic, DA percentage and HRA percentage. So we will define constructor with ENO, ENAME and then basic DA and HRA. Here we will call super class variables ENO and ENAME using super keywords. So super dot init and ENO and ENAME. And then we will assign basic DA and HRA with self keyword. Then we will define method find salary and first we will calculate DA amount and HRA amount. So DA amount equal to self dot basic into self dot DA divided by 100. Then we will calculate HRA amount which is equal to self dot basic into self dot HRA divided by 100. Then we will calculate total salary which is equal to self dot basic plus DA amount plus HRA amount. And then we will print the information about employee that is employee number, name, basic, DA amount, HRA amount and total salary. and then total salary. Then we will accept information from the user as employee number, name, basic, DA percentage and HRA percentage. First we will accept employee number, then name, then basic, then DA percentage, then HRA percentage and then we will create object of our class salary and we will pass these values as a constructor values and then we will call the method find salary from that class. Then we will save it, then we will execute it, I will enter the values. It will print employee information as number, name, basic which is given as 10,000. So, DA amount will be 3,000 since it is a 30 percent of basic and HRA amount is 2,000 since it is a 20 percent of basic and then it will print total salary. Here first we have defined the class employee which has two parameters employee number and name. Then we have defined the class salary which inherits employee with parameters basic, DA and HRA. And then we have defined the method find salary which will calculate DA amount, HRA amount and total salary.